Hey guys, this is Matt Kids on the One with the video on ISO. So as you may know, when you, um, for instance, create a copy of a CD or when you burn a CD or anything like that, you might make an ISO of a CD. And you might know that ISOs seem and act a lot like DMGs. But what you may not know, or you may know, is that ISOs are not the same as DMGs because they have a limit in size, they have a limit in a bunch of other things, and they have their own special kind of file system. So you also may or may not know that different hard drives, such as on the Mac, have different file system formats. On a Windows computer, it's normally NTFS or um, um, FAT32, or as you may know, MS-DOS. And MS-DOS, or FAT32, whichever one you want to call it, has a file size limit of 4 gigabytes that's very frustrating. So people use NTFS on Windows normally now. On a Mac, your, your file system is formatted as HFS+, plus, which is very nice because file names can be up to 255 characters long, so it's pretty nice. Um, but you may or may not have wondered what format is a CD. A CD is ISO format. ISO is the special thing for a CD or DVD. Some DVDs can do it too. And ISOs have a lot of limits that... Um, that, D, that um, HFS Plus doesn't. Normally DMGs are HFS Plus or MS-DOS if you like doing that. But ISOs have limits like um, it's originally they, you could only have ten, eight levels of folders and um, it was also originally said that there could only be one dot in a file name. That got changed though um, because of Unix systems and dot files and stuff. But ISO is another format for CDs, and that's what a CD normally is. Now, a music CD isn't normally ISO. So, anyway, I hope this um, vaguely um, explains to you what ISO file systems are. Um, so, in the description, I'll have a link to ISO's Wikipedia page, um, and I'll um, just, yeah. So, um, anyway, thanks for watching that, Kids in One. That's just a little insight about ISO file systems. So anyway, subscribe and goodbye.